What's up everybody, Manny from Motor Million. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to install the DH83 radiator guards on your K67S1000RR. This also fits the K63S1000 single R models as well. We're gonna remove the side panel, removing these T25 bolts that are around. There's one in the bottom and two in the front as well. Once you've removed your lower side panels, remove this extra bolt that's on the engine spoiler so that we could freely move the engine spoiler forward to fit the radiator and all the cooler guards behind it. Once you have your engine spoiler loose, just remove this bolt here, which is the support for the lower radiator mount, and then repeat the same on the other side. In the package, you'll see some of the foamies and the zip ties included for the install. The foamies are included so that you stick them on the back of your radiator and oil cooler guard to stop them from rattling. All you gotta do is grab your scissors, cut the foamy up to the desired length of your choice and stick them to the back of the guards. So the next step is to grab your zip ties that are supplied and put it through the top radiator guard, just like this so that they're ready to get installed. Once you have your radiator guard ready to install, just slide it through the front of the engine spoiler, get it up in place, and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pull this side of the engine spoiler, feed the tab behind, and do the same on the other side. And you wanna make sure that this piece lines up to the lower radiator bolt. Don't panic if it doesn't line up. These are aluminum, you could adjust it any way you want, so if you need to, maybe bend it a little bit, you could do a little force, and then you'll see that it'll line right up. So the zip ties that we installed has to go through the bottom of this mount that we have in place. And don't fully tighten them yet, just start a few threads so that it doesn't come out of place. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Next is the oil cooler guard. Before you tighten anything up on the radiator, we gotta place this in, on top of the oil cooler. These two tabs have to hug the oil cooler from the bottom. Once you have the oil cooler clipped in and in place, Grab your bolt that you took off from the bottom mount of the radiator, run it through the lower part of the radiator guard, line it up with the lower mount of the radiator, and get a few threads started. All you gotta do is tighten this back up, and repeat the same on the other side. So once the radiator and oil cooler guards are bolted down from the bottom, now it's time to tighten these zip ties. Just tighten them into place. You don't wanna be too tight, but you wanna make sure that it's securely in place, that it's not moving around. Now that everything is on, install your lower side panels and you're good to go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys.